Good morning. Today we're going to evaluate a limit involving trig. The limit is the limit as x approaches pi over 4, it's a double sided limit of 1 minus the tangent of x divided by the sine of x minus the cosine of x. So the first thing we'll do is we'll look at the form. Um, pi over 4 is a special angle value. You have the unit circle, uh, whatever your means. I like to use, I just remember these little triangles. The, it really doesn't look like a 45-45 triangle, but it doesn't matter because I say it is. With legs 1 and 1 and uh, hypotenuse equal to root 2. So the tangent of pi over 4 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. The sine and the cosine of pi over 4 are equal to each other. They're 1 over root 2. 1 over root 2 minus 1 over root 2 is 0. We didn't get lucky. We can't directly evaluate this limit. We have the indeterminate form 0 over 0. So we need to do something else. Um, sometimes we've done other limits uh, involving trig that kind of look like this. I mean, multiplied by the uh, by one in the form of the conjugate of the numerator over the conjugate of the numerator or vice versa. Um, in this case, it's not gonna work. Um, you can try it, uh, but it's not gonna work. The uh, best clue is from when you were in your trigonometry class and you were doing proofs, uh, you were always told when you have your tangents, a good way to start to do your proof is to convert to sines and cosines. So we're gonna try that here. So I have 1 minus the tangent of x is the sine of x divided by the cosine of x. And then we still have the denominator, sine of x minus cosine of x. Hasn't helped us. We still have an uh, indeterminate form. And in fact, it looks like we've actually complicated the matter. Uh, we do have a compound fraction now. But whenever we have compound fractions, form 0 over 0, when we're computing, if we're trying to evaluate a limit, we just eliminate the compound fraction. And we do that by multiplying by the common denominator, in this case of the numerator. Common denominator of the numerator is just the cosine of x. So we'll multiply by 1 in the form of the cosine of x over the cosine of x. Distributing uh, through the numerator. Haven't taken the limit yet, so it's still here. Uh, the limit is x approaches pi over 4. Uh, the cosine of x times 1 is just the cosine of x. Uh, the negative sine of x over the cosine of x times the cosine of x is the negative sine of x. And then we have the quantity, don't expand the uh, denominator, we talked about that. Um, the quantity sine of x minus the cosine of x times the cosine of x, the term we just introduced. Uh, still have form 0 over 0. That doesn't look like we can do much, but if you'll notice, if uh, cosine of x minus sine of x and sine of x minus uh, cosine of x are actually very similar. They just differ by a factor of negative 1. So I'm going to factor the numerator. I'm going to factor a negative 1 out of the numerator. So I have the limit as x approaches pi over 4 and factored at the negative. Uh, that makes the positive cosine negative, the negative sine uh, of x positive, so I'll write the positive term first. Notice, you know, when we factor, we have to be able to multiply and get the same thing we started with, and if we multiply that negative 1 back through that uh, expression there, we will return to what we started with. So we have, and you're probably already there, but we've done what we wanted to do. Now we have negative uh, 1 times the quantity sine of x minus the cosine of x over uh, the quantity sine of x minus the cosine of x uh, times the cosine of x. So we have a common factor in the numerator and the denominator. So we'll simplify the limit expression. And we get the limit as x approaches pi over 4 of negative 1 over the cosine of x. The limit as x approaches pi over 4 of negative 1 is just negative 1. The limit as x approaches pi over 4 of the cosine of x is 1 over 
root 2, let's just rewrite that, uh, pull out the denominator, multiply by the reciprocal, and we get negative root 2. No reason to be sloppy, even though that is technically the limit. Uh, so we have this uh, really common trigonometric limit, uh, or limit involving trigonometry, which the limit is x approaches pi over 4. Uh, we had form 0 over 0. We changed the tangents to sines and cosines, made a compound fraction, uh, eliminated the compound fraction by multiplying uh, top and bottom by the, or numerator and denominator by the uh, common denominator of the numerator. Uh, we did a little factoring to simplify the limit and we ended up not with an indeterminate form anymore, and we found that the limit as x approaches pi over 4 of 1 minus the tangent of x divided by the sine of x minus the cosine of x equals negative root 2.